G'day everybody, me again. Finally got a nice beautiful day out here. So uh, it's time to finish off a lot of jobs that uh, I haven't been getting done lately. First one here is making the vacuum tank to uh, suck out the ram on the uh, car hoist. Um, simply just a uh, small refrigeration compressor. Um, quarter inch fitting there. It's a bit of uh, sort of semi-solid sort of crush proof-ish. still rubbery hose. Um, first step is like to get the fittings out of this tank. That was where the old uh, the, the old gas fitting actually went. Sorry, no, that was where the gas fitting went. That had a plug in it. So, uh, yeah, I just need to uh, finish removing these other fittings. Got the uh, big three-quarter drive rattle gun out. And uh, we'll give that a rattle. It's actually a relief valve. Pressure relief valve. So if the uh, bottle got too hot, it would uh, pop off and leak the gas rather than uh, exploding the bottle itself. That's a basically a fire safety feature, I think, or an overpressure. Like if the bottle gets overheated, it uh, will vent rather than uh, you know, it will vent rather than uh, exploding. Which can be quite devastating. I'll unplug that. Yeah, when you use rattle guns, you should really have a fair lead on your. Uh, you know, a short lead then a fitting, not a uh, straight fitting because using the rattle gun, the vibration destroys the uh, you know, fittings. Um, got some brass fittings here, it cost me about, it was about 12 bucks at Pertec. Um, there are various adapters for here. So basically, um, one end's going to have uh, this one here, which is a much more efficient fitting because it's just one. So that's uh, three quarter to quarter. That one will go in there with uh, yeah, my vacuum line. Put a bit of silicon on those before I uh, screw them in just to uh, make sure they seal nicely. So with this one, and then this one will go over here. Go in there as such. With its adapter. Like such, once again I will silicon them up. And then I've got this uh, 90 degree for a bigger bit of hose, which only just going to fit in there I think. Oh, that's going to be tight. Might have to modify that bottle slightly. Yeah, I'm going to have to modify that bottle slightly. That's okay. That's easy done. Actually, I can just swap around. Put that one in the middle, that one in the side. Then there's no modifications necessary, eh? Yeah, that's probably a better idea. That's easier. It doesn't really matter where these go. So I'm going to clean that up a little bit before it goes in, maybe. No, it's all good. So yeah, a bit of silicon on that, put that one in there, a bit of silicon on that, put that one in there. Other one in the top, get a long section of this airline that I can run up to the hydraulic hose of the uh, ram. And uh, I'll have to give it a shot. So uh, yeah. Okay, there we are. So we're all uh, hooked up. Press is running. Fittings are in. Well, I didn't let the silicon drive it. Yeah, vacuum will do that. And uh, I've got a vacuum gauge on it too. And as you can see, we're slowly, slowly, slowly pulling a vacuum. Plenty of vacuum being stored in there. Um, just have to uh, hook it all up now and then probably put it on suck and then leave it there for a while. And uh, I'll put this semi-clear tube on which I'm going to put like a loop in so I'll be able to see if anything's being pulled through. And then we'll see how we go from there. Something uh, interesting to note here was, was that uh, we're starting to get much stiffer vacuum out of it now and there was a bit of water left in the bottom of the tank you can actually hear it starting to boil off in there <laughs> Oh fun and games, okay now we're going to release the uh, vacuum and I think I gave myself a hickey on my thumb Ew Okay, so we have refrigeration compressor, vacuum tank, vacuum gauge, which I really want above the level of that uh, line. We are developing a vacuum, and that ram has retracted itself all the way to the bottom. You can see the cables have gone slack. So, yep, I can see fluid coming down the clear tube. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yep, I can hear it. Oil's starting to hit the bottom of the tank. 
Oh, you can see it coming up the line here. There's water coming through, yes. Yes, it's working guys, it's working. We're sucking all of that gooey, watery mess out of that nice hard ram. Oh, that sounds so sexual, doesn't it? Oh yes, hard ram. I'm getting a decent vacuum on that. That's uh, 10 millimeters of mercury. 10 inches of mercury, Jesus, okay. Oh yeah, this is working well. I wonder, though, because that's going to start boiling the water in there. <laughs> I just realised that. But uh, I wonder if that means will I get some watery, oily, yeah, vapor mix out of the, yeah. Oh well, if it screws that uh, compressor, it's not a problem because, uh, yeah, it was free anyway. I, I, I took it out of a fridge on the side of the road, that one, I think. Or I picked a fridge from the side of the road and took it out of it. But, definitely having a win here, definitely having a win, what I might do is, is there's no point me waffling on about this for half an hour while it sucks, so uh, what I might do is, is I'll pause this uh, recording here and I'll leave this for 20 minutes or so until that, well basically until we've pulled as, as pure a vacuum as possible as we can with this device, we're still flowing air so we're still making making headroom here. So yeah, I'll pause this for a bit and we'll come back to it. About uh, five minutes later the uh, vacuum is up to nearly 20 inches of mercury and you can really see that uh, flow of uh, liquid there into the tank. And we are still increasing our vacuum. Yep. Uh, this is running fairly cold, it's good. And uh, yeah, leave that again for some time. Okay, it's about uh, 20 minutes later. Don't know if you guys can hear that. That's the top of the ram. You can actually hear air being pulled past the seal, so that means I've evacuated 90% of the, the fluid in there. Um, there's still fluid flowing down the outlet. So while that's uh, happening, I'll, I won't stop it just yet. Vacuum has dropped down to about eight or nine inches of mercury. Um, obviously because we're getting the leak now through the top of the ram seal. So, uh, yeah, I'll leave this for another 15 minutes or so. Make sure there's no more, or only a little amount of uh, liquid coming through the line, and then uh, we'll disconnect it. Okay, so we've been running for over an hour now. Um, I think it's about time that uh, probably, probably done. There's a lot of moisture in this line, which makes me think there's going to be a lot of moisture inside my compressor. So I'm probably going to leave that running for a little while after I disconnect this. just to uh, let that dry a little and uh, now what I'm going to do is, is I'll disconnect my lines that are on there and I'll probably feed them back the other way so I'll use that one as, an, as, a, uh, as a dump and we'll use this one as a feed for some pressure and we'll push all this uh, gunk back out of the tank um, into another container um, yeah I'll do that now and I'll show you what the container looks like fairly confident there's not too much rubbish left in there because it uh, not too much coming through the line anymore, even the smallest bits that are, I'm not too worried about now. Um, main object was to get as much of the water out as I possibly could. So yeah, we'll dump this tank and we'll see what the mess looks like inside. Oh yeah, there it goes. That, that's what was in that ram, fellas. Almost pure water. I've just tipped my bottle upside down here and then just uh, pressurise it to blow this back out. Mm. Oh, there it goes, it just came. Oh 
Right, well that seemed to have worked pretty well. Ew. <laughs> Ooh, would you just love to take a bath in that? <laughs> Alrighty, that's enough for this video. Um, I'm going to start putting this pump back together maybe. Um, maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll empty the camera and we'll do a bit of a video on that too, eh? There's the pump unit with the new pump assembled. And yeah, hmm. The usefulness of a uh, trash pick bloody compressor pump, eh? Or a uh, refrigerant pump. Refrigerant compressor. Oh yeah, it's full of all sorts of nasties in there now. Thanks for watching.